Hi, I'm Ben, and today I'm going to talk to you about the planning board within Product Plan. With our planning board, you can objectively prioritize and rank initiatives to better align product decisions with your organization's strategic goals. Think of the planning board as a framework to help facilitate a conversation with your team about what's most important to your organization. Before you add any items to your planning board, you'll see this Venn diagram. Think of the planning board as a bridge between your parking lot and your roadmap. The planning board helps you prioritize initiatives before you move them to your roadmap. First, think about your benefit and cost criteria. These will be pre-configured with six categories, but you can rename, add, or remove columns to determine the framework that works best for you. After you've determined your benefit and cost categories, you can assign a weighting factor for each category. The score is also customizable, and the final score assigned to each initiative is calculated based on your framework. If all categories hold equal importance, you may want to keep your weighting uniform across the board. However, if a category like revenue generation is especially important, consider increasing its weight. To begin scoring items, click Add to Planning Board. You can select items from your roadmap, the parking lot, or by adding a new item. Items on the planning board either exist on your roadmap or in your parking lot. When you add a new item from the planning board, it will automatically appear in your parking lot as well. Scoring is on a 1 through 5 basis. A 1 means either low benefit or low cost, and a 5 means high benefit or high cost. The score you choose determines what percentage of a category's weighting each item will receive. Simply enter a value of 1 through 5 in each field, and Product Plan will derive the final score. You can then sort the planning board by rank to compare your initiatives. When you're ready, if the item isn't already on your roadmap, you can simply drag and drop it onto the roadmap. The planning board is intended to be a temporary location for you to score and plan roadmap initiatives. When you're ready to move on to the next set of items, simply deselect the items on your planning board to clear it all together. These items and their scores are still retained and you can begin scoring the next set of items. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how our planning board can help streamline the efficiency of your road mapping experience.